Australia's new leader, Tony Abbott, started his first day as Prime Minister, just like many he began as opposition leader, on his bike. But it was Labour hitching a ride after Abbott's conservative Liberal National Coalition raced to an unassailable lead in the seat count. He's promised to be a leader for all Australians, pledging a government which would avoid Labour's habit of infighting. A government that says what it means and means what it says. A government of no surprises and no excuses. A government that understands the limits of power as well as its potential. In Brisbane, outgoing Prime Minister Kevin Rudd held on to his seat as the predicted Labor wipeout failed to be as severe as some feared. But he stood down as leader. For all of Labor's economic achievements, many Australians felt their faults were too many. I think a very significant outcome of this election is that it has proved wrong the old adage that as long as economies are functioning very strongly, governments of the day tend to win elections. Mr Abbott spent much of the campaign drumming home Labor's alleged economic mismanagement as well as its bickering. It's been very difficult to know who's been leading the country. Um, one politician stabbing another politician in the back. So they've been in, in a lot of disarray. So now we've actually got one united party going forward, so that should help the country. The day after the vote, others were baffled at the outcome. You go to somewhere like Greece and you see people are really doing it hard there. Australia is not doing it hard. <laughs> people, might, people here think, oh, you know, the cost of living has gone up. Well, it might have a little bit, but compared to a lot of other places in the world, we're doing actually really hmm. well. With a large majority in the lower house and a likely friendly upper house, the focus for Mr Abbott switches to leading. But experts say the top job could have its pitfalls for him too. He will have to face the realities of dealing with a whole range of groups that he has never uh, really um, shown a lot of interest for. He's shown very little interest in foreign affairs, for example. Final results in both houses are expected to take days to count.